People talk about it being an inflation hedge. Well, it clearly isn't. We, we know that now. <laughs> no. People talk about it being a, a hedge against falling stock markets. Well, well we know it isn't. Uh, so the, the only thing that you have really to go, go on is technicals, and they do seem to work really well. Now, what I'm quite interested with here, I'm going to come to you both on this, but first, Nick, I think I've asked you this on previous streams, but I can't remember your answer because I've got goldfish memory and I've slept since, is what are your <laughs> thoughts on cryptocurrencies been from the old school? Yeah, it's, uh, and you, you, you're going to get a better answer out of Jason on this one. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's something that I've, uh, I've really sought to understand. I don't trade them. Um, saying that, I might trade one later on today. I don't know. But, the um, yeah, it's, it, it's one of those things that's just kind of left me behind and, and, and I've never really caught up. Um, you know, I, I have some friends who are very active in this space. They do very, very well out of it. Um, you know, they uh, a number of them that got into Ethereum and Bitcoin very, very early on and have made a lot of money and still trade mm -hmm. it. I think the I think the pullbacks for me is uh, are, are the key. Obviously, we've seen probably a sixty percent retracement on the on that race down to about sixty. Sorry, down to about twenty eight thousand. Um, a lot of people bought on an 80% pullback last time that happened. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm one of those people that tries to trade things that I know. I try and keep that to um, the DAX, the Dow, gold a little bit and, and try not to step out of that. I, uh, you know, it's one of those things. And, and just talking about the time of day we're trading at the moment as well. And obviously there's lots of retail traders who are listening. You know, I think in this phase of the day for me, I spoke about how I trade around the, the opening bell. This sort of period in the UK between 10 and 12 is a real dull period. And I think you find yourself trying to find stuff to do, the approach. So uh, so people are forcing trades in this period rather than really doing something that they, they want to do. I mean, Jason was looking for a pullback in gold, but, you know, for the benefit of the show, was taking... A, a gold trade at that point um but it's a very dangerous period you know i or oh, that's the way i think i tend to uh I, I tend to go to the gym walk the dogs or or cut the grass or something around this time of day and try to uh, try to avoid the market so yeah big the cryptos are a bit of a strange one for me um yeah i, I don't have a great deal of interest yeah, I mean, there's some good points there. I mean, I mean, one one is it's not broken, don't fix it, sort of stick with you know. And then it's, I think, the second point from that is, you know, you don't have to trade, don't force a trade. I think a lot of new traders think they have yeah. to be doing something every every minute, particularly when the markets are moving well. There's that big fear of missing out, and it's a case of you don't have to. The markets are always going to be there, but it's quite difficult to sort of uh, believe and acknowledge that, isn't it? In that respect, when you first start. Yeah. Okay. Hundred percent. Um, yeah. Okay, Jason, please tell me your thoughts on cryptocurrencies. I'm just looking at the background that you've got there. I was in that. I was in one of those scenes. <laughs> oh, you really? I was trying to find yeah. you. I was told. I was told yeah. you you both film stars. So yeah. this was Nick. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I was standing behind. <laughs> <you. laughs> oh, really? And you were in the background on one of them. I was trying yeah. to track you down. I was trying to find you, but I was like, maybe you were yeah. like, looked a little bit different. <laughs> yeah, I, I looked a bit different. Big, thick glasses, orange. Anyway, um, yeah, it was good fun. fun. It was yeah, it was it was weird being being in that film. Um, okay, so crypto. I have been a bear of crypto. I mean, I know you're going to say, oh yeah, of course you've been a bear because it's all all it's done is go go down. Easy to say, <laughs> but but I mean, it, it, crypt, when we when we had this uh, her peak up here at sixty four nine hundred, and then we beat it with this peak here got a 66, 9, uh, 80, but that couldn't be sustained. And we pulled back. And then we got this peak up here at 60, well, I'll call it 69. Uh, it, it, we just couldn't maintain these gains. And it just rang some alarm bells for me. And uh, with these long upper wicks, and eventually we did come down. So the thing about crypto is, it, for me, it just charts so well. Technically, it's, it, it's, the, it's the best market to, to trade, actually. I don't trade it, which is kind of odd. <laughs> but um, I do advise um, I do advise a hedge fund, and um, I guess it's because there's nothing else to go on, is there for crypto? There's I don't know how many thousands of crypto coins there are now, but you know with the, with the currency you've got the economics, you've got the interest rates, you've got forward guidance yeah. from the central bank, and then you know whatever else can mm -hmm. can affect a currency. 
But with crypto, there really isn't anything. You know, people talk about it being an inflation hedge. Well, it clearly isn't. We, we know that now. <laughs> no. People talk about it being a, a hedge against falling stock markets. Well, well we know it isn't. Uh, so the, the only thing that you have really to go, go on is technicals, and they do seem to work really well. Yeah, I think that's a fantastic point with Bitcoin, because I'm sure you were exactly the same. I had no interest in it prior to sort of 2016, 17, where it started exploding and it became a CFD. So you could trade it as a relatively safe derivative rather than getting involved with wallets and things like that. And I think the question that I'm sure you had as well is how technical will it be when it actually when it actually starts moving? Because there was just nothing. There was nothing, nothing, nothing exploded. And and I agree like you, it is it is quite technical now. And again, all those sort of like, you know, during the pandemic where it went down to what was it four, three, four thousand, it was obviously not a protection against then. So, you know, it it is an interesting asset to trade them. And one of the reasons that uh, ACAP is such a favorable broker is because they have just a 12 point spread on Bitcoin, something that's moving hundreds of dollars in every day. So you can actually trade it in a very wow. cost efficient way and not have that risk, not have that exposure of trading it in an unleveraged way. So that's one of the uh, popular assets that we do see people trade. So, yeah, thank you for those thoughts. I mean, you, I guess you guys are just sort of sticking with the main ones rather than getting involved in all the small caps and things like that. But that's that's no problem. But I do agree that Bitcoin has shown itself to be a, a very nice technical sort of uh, market there. Mm -hmm.